This next poem is by Henry Vaughan, who was a, a younger contemporary of George Herbert and John Donne, and is sometimes grouped with them, along with uh, figures such as Marvel and Traherne, as one of the so-called metaphysical poets, which is really just a way of saying that they all like to play with intellectual ideas in their poetry. Vaughan had a mystical streak, but it was also curiously coupled with a very modern sense of doubt, which makes him quite sympathetic, I think, to, to our ears. This is one of his better known poems, which is called They Are All Gone Into the World of Light. They are all gone into the world of light, and I alone sit lingering here. Their very memory is fair and bright, and my sad thoughts doth clear. It glows and glitters in my cloudy breast, like stars upon some gloomy grove, or those faint beams in which this hill is dressed after the sun's remove. I see them walking in an air of glory, whose light doth trample on my days, my days which are at best but dull and hoary, mere glimmering and decays. O oh, holy hope and high humility, high as the heavens above, these are your walks, and you have showed them me to kindle my cold love. Dear beauteous death, the jewel of the just, shining nowhere but in the dark, what mysteries do lie beyond thy dust, could man outlook that mark? He that hath found some fledged bird's nest may know at first sight if the bird be flown. But what fair well or grove he sings in now, that is to him unknown. And yet, as angels in some brighter dreams call to the soul when man doth sleep, so some strange thoughts transcend our wonted themes and into glory peep. If a star were confined into a tomb, her captive flames must needs burn there, but when the hand that locked her up gives room, she'll shine through all the sphere. O Father of eternal life, and all created glories under thee, resume thy spirit from this world of thrall into true liberty. Either disperse these mists, which blot and fill my perspective still as they pass, or else remove me hence unto that hill where I shall need no glass.